in search of soil. Is it something that you'd say right now we could view it as more of a positive than a negative, even though we can't quantify how positive? Is it, is it a plus or is it a minus or is it a, a neutral? It, it really boils down, if we look at the whole history of our biochar research that exists in the literature, we have about 50% of these studies show a positive effect about 30% show no effect and 20% are negative. So it really boils down to right now, it's a kind of a 50-50 statistical basis if we use the entire suite of literature available. There are things that alter that, of course. If we know that the soil is deficient or if we're adding biochar to a highly acidic soil, we tend to see more positive effects for agricultural productivity but those are isolated instances and we can't take that result and extrapolate it to all agricultural soils. One thing I try and, or one way I try and think about biochar is this. At worst, you're sequestering carbon that is a byproduct from, from something, tree pruning, lumber scraps, the nut industry, and you're sequestering that carbon in the soil. And that inherently, like you mentioned, is gonna change the, the tilth. There's gonna be some moisture holding capacity to it. And if it only did that, that's your win. And I look at the negative of being, well, what did you have to put in to generate that? Meaning there's some time involved, there's some equipment involved, there's some cost involved. And mm -hmm. if you can do that, in a simple way, I see it as more positive than negative. Are there any negatives that I'm leaving out here that I'm missing, like ways that this could potentially hurt growth? There's the difficult, there's been some isolated studies in the literature that show if the biochar is created at an extremely low temperature and you have a high amount of absorbed volatile organics from the paralysis, that the, that addition of that char has negative impacts. Mm -hmm. But we do know those aspects of the negative char and the absorbed organics on there causing these negative impacts. The more puzzling feature is what it's doing with the whole nutrient availability. There's still a lot of questions in terms of the long-term impact that this chart could have on nutrient availability. It's been positive in some certain circumstances, but we've only measured it over a short-term duration. And if this char material is lasting in the soil for a longer term, we really need to understand the mechanisms in order to forecast what is the true impact of this addition in the soils. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also be sure to check out some of the great clips and watch the full interviews right here on In Search of Soil.